Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out here for you. So we're going to be talking about Ukraine and Russia in this video. And I have a story that Ukraine has once again launched another drone attack onto Russia just in the last 24 hours. And apparently they struck another oil refinery, maybe even three in total. Okay, but we're going to be talking specifically about this one. It's the Gazprom Neftekim Salavat Refinery. Okay, this is a refinery in the region called Bashkiria. And it's approximately 1,500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Now, this is really, really far deep into Russia. This is by far the furthest they have attacked inside of Russian territory, setting a new record using these new drones that they have. They've got these drones now that look like a small airplane with a propeller on it. And uh, they can travel, I believe, upwards of 2,000 or more kilometers deep inside Russia. But we had a uh, attack here, 1,500 kilometers. Okay, this is very deep inside Russia. And this is a really big problem for them because they've got oil refineries that are close to Ukraine. And then they, they've also got some that are much further away. So this uh, enables Ukraine to attack these oil refineries that are much deeper inside Russia with these new drones that they're using. Now, we'll be showing you some video footage here in a little bit. That's a picture there on the screen for you. So the Gazprom Neftekim Salavat uh, refinery is one of Russia's largest oil refining and petrochemical production complexes, specializing in the production of gasoline, diesel fuel, and various petroleum products. Okay, so I'm going to show you right now on a map as well approximately where this uh, the location of this facility is that got hit. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So uh, I got a map here pulled up. Here's Ukraine down here, right? And then you, the Ukrainian border is right here, this black line. And then here's Russia. And look at how far deep over here, okay? This is definitely the furthest I have seen Ukraine strike uh, right over here in the Bashkiria region. There's a town here called Salavat, okay? And the Gazprom Neftekim Salavat refinery is right here in this area. I believe it's this entire complex here. It's a pretty, pretty massive facility. Uh, that uh, produces, you know, fuel and diesel fuel and um, anything uh, petroleum related. Okay, so very massive facility over here, and once again getting struck. And uh, the furthest I have reported, I believe, could be the Samara region, which is right here, uh, not too far away, approximately I don't know, 100, 200 kilometers away from the Samara region. And we've reported here, I think Sirzan or uh, Sizran. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, but these these areas here have been targeted. They also have oil refineries in these areas that have been hit. Uh, just like this one here, Novo Kuibushevsk, I've reported this. That's been struck before just a few months ago. And yeah, look at that. Way deep over here, guys. Look at this. I mean, Russia wants to talk about creating a buffer zone where they want to take like half of Ukraine to keep the enemy back so they can't target inside Russia. But if they've got drones that can go 2,500 kilometers or 2,000 kilometers, whatever it might be, deep into Russia, that can allow them to strike a large portion of Russian territory. And for sure, all these uh, these oil facilities that are on the western side can easily be attacked, okay? And now we've definitely seen the furthest attack here at the Gazprom Neftekim Salavat refinery. So uh, I've got more information we're going to go over. we got some video footage here to show you as well of these drones flying through the air, some of the smoke coming from the uh, facility. But we can see here, too, that it caught on fire. There's some smoke there and some damage to that building. So let's go over this together on Kiev Post. It says Ukrainian drone strikes Gazprom refinery in Bashkiria sets record range of 1,500 kilometers. The attack carried out by a long-range drone targeted the refinery's catalytic oil cracking unit. It says right here, Kiev's Post sources within the special services reveal that the security service of Ukraine, the SBU, has carried out another successful strike, this time hitting the Gazprom Neftekim Salava refinery in the Republic of Bashkortostan. Uh, the attack carried out by a long-range drone targeted by targeted the refinery's catalytic, or excuse me, catalytic oil cracking unit. The drone's range is noteworthy. According to some sources, it covered a distance of 1,500 kilometers, setting a historical record. So we got a couple of videos here to go over as well. Let's take a look at some of these. It'll show uh, the drones flying over the town and also uh, some smoke. As we can see here, there's smoke there from someone's window recording. So we'll take a look at some of these together. Combinator, you're 
Вот, говорили же на девятый праздник. Дрон летел, блядь. Ага. А вон он летит. Потом мне перекинь. Поехали быстрее, потом сфоткаешь. Поехали быстрее, пизду разворачивается. Okay, so I don't know if you were able to see in that video, but uh, I understand it's not full screen, but these don't unfortunately pull up in full screen as far as I know. But if you could see, that drone was pretty big, okay? It's, it's literally the size of a small aircraft. It's not these tiny little drones like what we see uh, Ukraine using before. These are newer drones that they're manufacturing, and they're absolutely humongous, okay? They carry a much bigger payload as well, so whenever they strike the facility, much bigger blaze, more damage. So let's check out a couple more of these too. Он взорвался. Да, на лету. Сам взорвался и все, блядь. Взорвался, он сам взорвался. So you can see right there, there was smoke. That's what I was circling there. You can see the smoke. That's what he was talking about. Obviously speaking Russian, uh, but there was smoke there coming from the facility after the attack. So here's some more smoke in this video. Let's take a look at this one too. This one doesn't have any sound. Um, but uh, yeah, there you can see someone recording from their window after this attack. Smoke billowing over here, black cloud coming from the facility in that direction. So definitely it was hit, for sure was hit. Here's one more video. There's the plane right there. So you could definitely see the plane there was flying in the sky. And again, it's like a small aircraft. It literally sounds like an aircraft too, like a small, um, like a private plane, okay, that people buy, the one with the propeller on it. Uh, that's, that's basically what they are. It's a small aircraft. So let's keep reading here. Gazprom Neftekim Salavat is one of Russia's largest oil refining and petrochemical production complexes specializing in the production of gasoline, diesel fuel, and various uh, petroleum products. Here's another video here. We'll take a look at this. I don't think we saw this one yet. I think this one we can make full screen. Yes, we can. Let's take a look at this together. Okay, so yeah, I think we did see this one, but we were able to pull up in full screen. Sorry, I was trying to fix the volume there. I feel like it was a little bit too loud for your guys' ears. My apologies. But uh, yeah, right there, there's your smoke. Smoke cloud right there definitely had a, a, a direct hit at this facility. So let's keep reading together. This operation highlights the SBU's formidable technological capabilities capable of de uh, delivering significant blows to the enemy. It sends a clear message that Russian refineries and tank farms, even in the deep rear of the military industrial complex, are not beyond our reach, stated an informed source. Earlier on Thursday, Kiev Post reported that Ukrainian drones struck two oil depots in the Krasnodar region in the early hours of May 9th. So that's today. Um, apparently, there's another story. I'll try to go look into that, that uh, Ukraine drones struck two more oil depots. Okay, That's aside from the one we see here in the Krasnodar region. I believe that's a lot closer, if I remember, to, uh, to Ukraine. I think this might even be like in the uh, southwestern portion, closer to the Black Sea. I'll double check for you guys. According to reports from Russian telegram channels, the simultaneous assaults targeted the Luke Oil and Temp LLC depots located approximately two kilometers apart. The drones targeted two transshipment tank farms in the village of Yurovka uh, near uh, Anapa. According to sources from the Kiev Post, within the special services, it was a successful operation by Ukrainian intelligence, the SBU, the tank farms serve as, a tran as uh, transshipment points for supplying fuel to Russian troops in Crimea, and they also are, are they are also located near the peninsula. The source said, "The season of attacks on Russian refineries and tank farms is in full swing. The SBU will continue to diminish Russia's economic and logistical capabilities for waging war." The source said. So there's more information here. Uh, a few more paragraphs. You guys can go ahead and read this if you want on your own. I'll cite this down below. And you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But uh, yeah, once again, another successful attack here on uh, on Russian soil, okay, at their oil facilities. So they've been coming under attack dozens and dozens of times, probably 
more than 20 times by now is what I have reported in just the last maybe three to four months. And uh, Ukraine is really starting to get good at this. And they're starting to use these bigger drones now that do much more damage and can fly much further into Russia. So, yeah, I just wanted to get this information out there to you and let you know this happened. Um, this is not even really widely reported. I had to really dig to find this. Uh, but there was a few outlets covering it. So, once again, yep, Ukraine striking more uh, Russian oil refineries once again. And this time setting a record of 1,500 kilometers deep inside Russia. So, very, very far into Russia. I'm sure they're upset by that. So let me know what you think down below. Go ahead and share your thoughts, concerns, and opinions down in the comment section. That's going to be it for this update. If you got something out of this update, please smash that like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.